He said, young man, don't disturb me. In fact, I'm hard up. I can't even answer you now. I don't have money. You know that people had too many problems this time around, so I could not prepare for Christmas. You know, we had too many family problems, too many illnesses and sicknesses. We had death and, death and funerals and so on. You know, Christmas is anyway a yearly event, so there's always next year. In other words, he's saying he is going to, and considering skipping Christmas altogether. The story is very sad one, yes indeed, but what accentuates the sadness of the story is the fact that, is the fact that Everything that he's basing his plan to skip Christmas upon is, is, is everything that's wrong and that has become what is wrong with Christmas. His decision to quit Christmas is based upon this, this, this increasingly commercialized idea or concept of what the holidays are supposed to be about. Rather than about remembering and celebrating the birth of our Savior. Millions of people, families, perhaps this Christmas holiday season in any given part of the world where Christmas is recognized. Many will probably be more worried about what is or is not under the Christmas tree. What is or is not on the Christmas dinner table. Who is or who is not Present, Lord, help me this Christmas. Then they will be focusing upon the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who, who is the fulfillment of every dream. He is the filler of every void. He is the provider of all of our needs, even the giver of eternal life. Oh, and these will be all the things that will give us pain, uh, that they are tied to. The secular society holds and focuses on the things that bring us closer in our relationship with God.